Hey everybody, uh, it's Bust, continuing our playthrough of the Path of Champions. Today, we will be playing with a zero-star Kaisa, taking on the half-a-star quest, the Swift Scout. And so, to take a quick peek at our Kaisa, uh, she is freshly unlocked with no powers or anything, so we currently have zero star powers, champion power right at level one, uh, and for the Relic, we are going with Challenger. If you're not familiar with her deck, we'll pull it up real quick. There's no ways uh, for Kaisa within her base deck to start with Challenger. You can hit it off of Payday. Uh, but none of the units actually have it. And so if we're looking to hit on Evolves, uh, I want to have her with abilities that our other units can't generate. And so Voidling could have to random it, but our other things like the Elder starts with Spell Shield, uh, the Blaster starts with Overwhelm. And so having Kaisa start with two abilities and then having Quick Attack Challenges come from those abilities uh, is quite strong. And so this is who we'll be doing battle with today. She's ready for it. She's primed and ready challenger assembled and let's go see if we can't take down the swift scout see if timo's had a bad day maybe he'll just be having a good day bad day after this <laughs> all right what do we got here it's uh it's a little sad that we started with the the challenger ability then challenger turns right up let's go ahead and give it another reroll. nothing too interesting with these as well no combat oriented uh, type, type abilities, so we'll get rid of them. Uh, and then here, both of these are strong, and the Rip, Yips Genius and the Trafarian Might. Uh, Trafarian Might, surprisingly interesting with this deck, and if our units have hit their evolution, uh, then, then they're going to be able to strike when they come into play. I'm not sure how many one-drops we have, it's just the Voidling. Okay, I'm going to go with the Trafarian Might here. It might be uh, a, a little unnecessary, uh, against the Teemo round, like we might just be better off suited uh, with the one drops because the games don't go that long. But uh, th this Kaisa deck isn't super good at closing out games until we hit uh, Evolve. And so uh, we'll, we'll just try and uh, take the one that should close out the game if the game goes late. All right, nice draw in the Voidling. Starting with Lifesteal is pretty good. Okay, ability number two. If you're not familiar with Evolve, uh, it is one of the new abilities out of the new set. It does not count itself. You have to hit uh, six other positive keywords. And so if you're asking yourself why we didn't have three keywords yet, it's because Evolve doesn't count. All right, I'm going to go ahead and payday. I'd like to block this stuff if we can. Uh, and so instead of going for keywords, we'll look for the keyword tough. But if we can't find tough, then we'll go for something that gives us bonus health. We can actually just lifesteal all of this back next turn, so we'll take that hit. Alright, Void Blaster online. Ooh. His units are all bigger than ours. <laughs> okay. What's our evolve at? Three? It'll go up to five with Kaisa, then maybe with the payday we'll get it up to uh, evolve territory. I can almost taste it. Void. I've got eyes. Okay, so we can go into the next turn. The way I'm kind of looking at this is we, we can... Uh, you can steal keywords off of your opponent's units with a Hive Herald, but it's not enough uh, stealing Challenger since we already have it. I'm going to put the Payday onto our uh, Voidling, and then we're going to transfer everything from the Voidling over to Kaisa. And so we actually missed. Uh, we didn't hit any keywords that we don't already have. So it's a, a little unfortunate we're not going to get the Evolve going this turn, but we'll at least get to gain back all of our health. Let's see if the opponents got to the deck themselves. I'm not. I'm not used to these uh, these adventures taking so long. All right, Chronomancer on board. We'll pick up the Void Blaster. He's a he's an eff effective unit. Nice and strong. Clear out our opponent's board. 
We're getting close. <laughs> closer and closer and closer. We'll go for the big boom though. We're gonna I'm gonna take the void blaster. Uh, on our next turn, we'll transfer the overwhelm over to Kaisa, and then we'll copy Kaisa's abilities with the Hive Herald. Just uh, just to blow up our opponent for making us wait so long. You can see some of the some of the joy that Kaisa, Kaisa is capable of here. All these sweet abilities that she can stack up. Right. We well, can hit elusive with this evolve as well. And why not at this point, right? If we're going if we're going this heavy, we might as well go the whole way. No half measures with this game. <laughs> All right, copy Kaisa. Here we go. All right, hit him with that nice neg 33. Good job, bro. Okay. Wow, that took a long time. I hope you're still here with us. <laughs> you didn't you didn't fall asleep at the beginning of that video. Too much action going on, though. All right, so what do we got here? I'm leaning towards just taking the station archivist. It's a, a a nice value play. Maybe we can copy some paydays or something to help us hit our uh, various keywords. And then we're going to be looking for keywords out of these as well, which are pretty uh, easy to hit with the likes of the Mecha Yordles. They're a little slower than I typically like, but uh, Squeaker has Tough, I believe. Uh, Squeaker has Augment. Uh, the Bildrat Rascal... Gives a unit spell shield. That's not the greatest one. And then Rumble can, of course, pick up three abilities, which is actually kind of cool with Kaisa. And so add him on in. Now, what do we have down here? We can go to either the gold chest, which I'm not happy about, or the slot bot, which lets us buy rerolls. Might as well go after the gold chest. And so down here at the bar fight, when a unit is summoned, shuffle its stats. All right, I'm just going to mulligan away anything that costs more than two. I know the exhaust and payday cost one and two, but those are, are interactive plays. I want to just have cheap units at this point. What you got? You got lifesteal again? Not bad, Voidling. <laughs> you get that, that zero attack lifesteal unit out here. Okay, Smash and Dash doesn't have any abilities, unfortunately, so let's pick up the Shadow Tech Walker here with both uh, Elusive and Impact. Are you going to have anything to do this turn? You can wait on the Payday. I'll put Rumble on top. We discard all these dumb cards. Disc <laughs> discard all these Augments and just go full Rumble, right? All right, he's bringing in his attack before we could get our blocker in. Oh boy, Shadow Tech Walker. Getting getting very aggressive. So what do we need with Rumble? Let's just discard everything. I don't care at this point. Uh, it's just, <laughs> we could have stopped at two. We didn't need the spell shield to, to get the flip onto Rumble, but uh, I, wanted, I wanted to just go for it. I wanted to go big. Create and hand a copy of an enemy follower. And he copied our Shadow Tech Walker. Okay. You got, we hit the, hit the Challenger on him. I was curious, like, if we wanted to go elsewhere, because if we hit Challenger, uh, then it's not, like, super useful on our elusive unit. But uh, I think it was going to be pretty over either way at that point. Got him. Mecha Yordles Unite. Come on, I wasn't even holding the controls. All right, 
what you got for us? Pretty weak collection of bros. We'll just take the Ruin Runner. The the Overwhelm is... is well, I guess the Doom Keeper already has Overwhelm. I'm just going to go with the cheap one. All right, into the gold chest. Collect all the treasures onto the Mechanized Mimic. So, game start. Foe creates an Augmented Poro in hand. Got it. All right, you all know the strategy. If it's not a unit... If it doesn't cost one or two, we're going to mulligan it away. We did it. My gosh, we were successful at that strategy. <laughs> All right, Overwhelm on board. We'll play Squeaker here, pick up Augment. Don't need any more Dune Keepers. What do you have? Impact? I guess these all have Impact. Kind of leaning towards the elusive again, but these these mecha forces are quite strong, and we don't have any good plays for the next turn. So I'm gonna pick up the mecha forcer. We can hopefully play him plus the void seeker, and then get the void blaster on turn four. Broke my hand, so I got a new one. Now I pack a punch. Try to keep up. <laughs> Does not seem like an advisable attack. It's okay. Oh, no, our, our, our loadout isn't set. Oh, F. What a disaster. <laughs> I'll have to fix that. If you're, if you're watching, you're going to you're gonna have to see it. Neg 8 coming in. Questionable blocks from opponent again. We should be able to end this on our, on our next attack token. Get, get rumble with those keywords again. Didn't even activate evolve. Ugh. All right, we should be good with this open attack though. Got him. GG. So we got one more one more battle. Or are we going into Teemo? I can't I can't quite remember off the top of my head. I think we're battling Teemo. There's way too much map. <laughs> There's no way, no way. All right, but let's pick up the interactivity here. I'm gonna go for the uh, the minus one cost death's hand, just to give us a way to shoot down Teemos if we don't have any blockers. Voidlings with Tough looks fantastic. These, oh man, adding these items to our unit of the games go on, this is going to be quite strong. I haven't seen what Kaisa's level up units do, but if we get to the space to where our, our units are starting with keywords, that's going to be pretty powerful. I don't want counterfeit production. We don't need to shuffle cards into our deck. Uh, our, the elusiveness on the flight is pretty good. And then the barrier does give a second keyword. So I can get behind picking up the flight here. Still got some money, some money left over. Do we want any of this other stuff? Let's just pick up one parallel convergence. Get a get a free, free attack out of it. Let's get more. Let's get them all. Maybe we can win in style. All right, gonna cut out something expensive. We shouldn't need this six drop in our deck. The games have surprisingly been going that late, but uh, historically you don't need those. <laughs> Doing battle against Timo, you you typically don't get to the uh, get to playing the six drops. Gonna actually hang on to Void Seeker here, though. Uh, getting the the one mana one mana burn onto Teemo is kind of nice. You got quick attack, tough. Maybe we should have. Oh, he's just he's just gonna block. Never mind. I was like, well, maybe we should have waited to to burn down the Teemo. Uh, because if he attacks next turn, we don't have any way to stop it. And I could see this being a matchup to where we're actually, like, a, a little scared. Oh, does this only hit followers? I guess we just learned. Okay. Good to know. Take the cheap one. He's got impact. 
Good to know you can't hit a Teemo with a Void Seeker. I haven't actually been playing that when in Constructed, and so I haven't ran into that interaction. Uh, we we rolled high on stats and just boomed the Teemo. Sick. Sick. I, I completely forgot we had the Trafarian strike ability because our uh, it just hasn't come up as relevant. But maybe that will. We have a, an Evolve over here. We haven't hit Spell Shields yet. We can pick up Overwhelm with the Dune Keeper. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll spike something. Well, he's not he's not going to have any units to spike at this point, but we'll, we'll see. We already have both tough and overwhelmed from the Voidling. A little sad, but I wanted to go ahead and get the units on the board. All right, we'll just pick whatever. Get the strike with the Elder. Oh, it doesn't work like that. Interesting. So the, the evolve doesn't happen until the unit hits the board, or maybe we needed the unit to hit the board to get the keyword first, and then our future uh, big units would have the means to uh, get the kills. But either way, still able to finish off the game. GG. Nice battles, Teemo. So we'll get this loading screen pulled up, because that... It's going to do it. Not a bad set of battles. A nice entry level uh, with Kaisa. She's actually going to take a bit of getting used to, to to kind of sync together all these keywords. And it's going to take a bit of mental gymnastics in terms of uh, remembering what items are on each unit and, and things like that. But this is going to be a pretty interesting champion in the path uh, because the items are going to be so relevant. And so really looking forward to playing some of those games. And that is going to do it for us today. So I hope everyone enjoyed the video. You all have yourselves a good one out there.